thank you very much for coming out uh, in the middle of a week, in the middle of a pandemic, in not very good weather. Today, the 16th of uh, June, the world is marking the day of the African child. And so we at the School of Public Health are also going to put our focus on the child, on the African child. And we are going to talk about a topic that we don't usually talk about. We are going to talk about injuries and their prevention in children below the age of five. So we realize that historically, the day of the African child has been commemorated with the view to addressing uh, quality education, quality education for children in Africa. But children have to be healthy and they have to be alive in order to benefit from an education. So we'd like to talk about an important cause of children's ill health and what we can do to reduce it so that children can indeed enjoy quality education. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Olive Kobsinje. I'm a senior research fellow at Makere University School of Public Health. And I, uh, I lead the team uh, that works on trauma, injury, and disability. And my colleague here is going to introduce himself and uh, then give us the brief on um, the reason for our presence this morning. Yeah, thank you uh, very much, Dr. Olive. Uh, my name is uh, Charles Semugavo, and I work with Mackay University School of Public Health as a research associate. So, um, as Dr. Olive has introduced, um, Today is the day of the African child, and uh, we would like to focus uh, uh, the commemorations of this day on uh, unintentional injuries uh, among children. Uh, among children, so I'll, see, I'll quickly read uh, the, the briefing, and then uh, thereafter go into the interaction. So uh, injuries are a leading cause of morbidity and mortality among children under five years in Uganda. And injuries are responsible for about 4% of all deaths that occur among children under five. In fact, in every 1,000 children in Uganda, 69 have suffered from unintentional injuries. While many unintentional injuries are not severe, Many result in loss of productive, productivity hours for parents, loss of school hours, a disability, and even death. Safe homes allow children to grow so they can join form education. Injuries among children under five have been reported to occur at home, in, at playgrounds, in schools, in streets, and along the roads. However, majority occur in the home environment. And the commonest uh, injuries are burns, falls, cuts, while other types include suffocations, poisonings, and drowning, among others. Uh, children's physical development, their risk-taking behaviors, and the tendency to mimic their siblings have been said to be responsible for the unintentional injuries. On the other hand, unsafe storage of hazardous items the poor, and poor supervision are also among the major causes of unintentional injuries among children under five. Other wider social determinants and inequalities like poverty, a lack of play space in the homes, unsafe play areas, unsafe energy for cooking and lighting and inadequate supervision also contribute to this burden. Despite the large burden of unintentional injuries, little effort has been put in place to prevent children from getting injured in home environments. So the Day of the African Child presents a great opportunity to call upon all stakeholders to advocate and put in place safe and injury-free environment, environments for children in Uganda and Africa at large. Primarily commemorated to advocate the need to improve education for the African child. This day, uh, the day of the African child should happen. The day of the African child 
uh, invites us to to advocate for safe and injury-free environments for children under five. While schools are important because children receive the formal education, a lot of the informal education actually starts and happens in homes. So with that background, Makere University School of Public Health, in collaboration with the George Institute for Global Health at the Imperial College of London in the United Kingdom, are implementing the project titled Preventing and Intentional Injuries Among Children Under Five in Uganda. And as part of this project, we are carrying out a 10-day social media dissemination with key messages highlighting actions that parents or caregivers can undertake to prevent children from getting injured at home. So we are using Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp to pass on uh, these messages to uh, children, uh, to, to the targeted audience, that is the mothers and, uh, I mean, the parents and, care, and, and caregivers of children under five um, within uh, uh, urban areas in Kampala, Uganda, I mean, Kampala, Jinja, and, and other urban settings. So the 10-day social media campaign is aimed at raising awareness on, on safety of children, especially those under five, at home, and to disseminate our study findings. This is all part of the activities that commemorate the Day of the African Child. In order to prevent unintentional injuries in homes, we are working with biomedical engineers and urban planners to develop intervention packages that can be installed in these settings to reduce injuries. The interventions will be tested and piloted in the second in the in the study communities in Jinja in the second phase of the study that is anticipated to start in October 2022. Thank you very much Charles. Uh, so the topic at hand is preventing injuries from that happen in homes amongst children below the age of five. And I'm sure many of you have reported on children that have been burnt, children that have been uh, uh, cut maybe, children that have suffered falls. Uh, children uh, that die in hospital. So injuries are the sixth leading cause of children dying in hospitals. So if you take the common causes that we know, malaria, pneumonia, anemia, perinatal causes, um, and sepsis, those are the five big ones. The very next reason why children die in hospital are actually injuries. And a lot of people don't realize that injuries are important below the age of five because we tend to focus on the communicable diseases, on the five killer diseases, and yet, a lot of deaths happen amongst children in that age group as a result of injuries. Either they get burnt or they fall and suffer head injuries especially, or they get cuts. And some of those that don't die uh, sustain injuries that are sufficient to give them disability for the rest of their lives. Some of you have also reported on burns, on children that get burns, and they live with disability. Uh, scarring for the rest of their lives. They suffer great stigma. A lot of them are not able to participate in education because of the falls that happen at that age. So this, uh, this year's Day of the African Child, we have chosen to focus on that in order to raise awareness, to create um, sufficient advocacy so that we can create environments that will enhance safety for children in their homes. Um, I don't know if you have any questions for Charles and I. We're on an urban setting and um, when we look at the data we realize that there are certain types of injuries that tend to that tend to occur in areas with densely, which are densely populated and where children, for instance, might not have sufficient space to play, might live in, in squash quarters. And we've done a lot of research in and around Kampala. So we were looking to go into urban areas that might have the same sort of environments, but that are not the over-researched Kampala, Mukono, Wakiso. 
So that, that's one of the reasons we went to Jinja. We are also hoping that we can work with, this, uh, with these communities, not just for the short interval, the short time when we are doing research, but that we can actually, um, uh, Jinja is now a city, and we have many other cities, many other growing cities in Uganda. So we hope that the findings that we, we get in Jinja will actually be applicable to similar cities, similar settings in the rest of the country. So we hope that we can work with them over time to not just find the reasons their children are getting injured, but seeing what kind of interventions can change that over time. <laughs>